All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. Last time, we were making our way across the Meehan High Road, and this time, we're going to continue making our way across. Should be a pretty easy uh, right. journey. And, uh, oh, I forgot to heal in between videos. That's okay. So for this fight, it's pretty straightforward. Just bring in the people that you need, so Waka will handle the flyers. And last but not least... Lulu will handle the elementals. Pretty straightforward fight. Oh yeah, I got an anecdote for this episode. So, I was um, very inept in my knowledge of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and I finally, for the first time ever, watched every single episode, or episode, <laughs> every single movie in the entire MCU, with a couple notable exceptions. Um, the main exception was uh, the Hulk. I did not watch The Incredible Hulk from 2008 because I had been told it was kind of an unnecessary movie to watch, especially since they changed actors uh, to Mark Ruffalo after The Incredible Hulk. So I just totally skipped that movie. It just became... Uh, not really that important for me to watch that one and maybe one of these days I'll go back and watch it but at least for right now not really my plan not really what I care about so there's that I was uh, pretty excited um, to get into watching all the movies I watched the first one I watched was Captain America and then I went to Thor I had already seen the first two Iron Man movies and then I watched Avengers 1, and I, I watched them in the timeline order, for the most part. So the, the movies that were in the timeline chronologically, I tried to watch them as chronologically as I could. And it was worth it. It was a fantastic movie uh, series, uh, especially the, the further it got in. I mean, I was impressed with Thor at first, and then whenever Thor Ragnarok came to be, my opinion swiftly changed on the original Thor movie, because I, I had seriously thought that the original Thor was like an incredibly good movie, and then it turns out I was like horribly wrong. It, it, in comparison to Thor Ragnarok, that movie is a piece of garbage. And I, like I said, I really liked Thor. Like, it was a solid, like, 8 out of 10 for me. And I even liked the sequel quite a lot. I really enjoyed Thor Dark World, um, but not as much as the original Thor. And in the end, I, it just... Well, it just turned out to be that I really enjoyed Ragnarok way more. And as is the case with all of the Marvel movies moving forward, I really enjoyed Guardians 1, but I enjoyed Guardians 2 even more. I enjoyed the first Avengers, but I enjoyed Age of Ultron more, and then I enjoyed Infinity War, Infinity War more, and then yesterday I finally saw Endgame. And Endgame was a treat. It, it felt like it was like fan fiction on steroids in the best way possible like i never would have imagined that i would be seeing captain america fight alongside peter quill and thor um and bucky you know it was it, well maybe with bucky but oh and i never would have imagined freaking captain america spoilers by the way uh wielding Mjolnir. I mean, that right there was a wild thing for me to see. And it just totally caught me off guard. I had heard that Captain America was worthy, but I didn't realize that he was worthy of Mjolnir. So, ooh, this is a tough fight. Um, I've never seen this particular combo. What I'm gonna do is I am gonna go ahead and bring the Aeons in, but I'm gonna at least dark attack this guy, because he's scary. Ow. Probably a good thing I did that dark attack, honestly. Now, we're actually going to get a level 1 key sphere whenever we get up to the shop at some point, so we'll finally be able to do some upgrades to 
<clears throat> excuse me, to Kamari, but they're not gonna matter in the grand scheme of things um, too much. Except, like, for the one ability that I want to get out of him, which is the ability to steal. Not even the ability to use, but just the ability to steal, because it would be nice if we could start um, stealing as many abilities as we can, or abilities, as many items as we can early on. Wow, that counts as an attack. That's kind of frustrating. All right, let's get Yuna in here, and uh, here. let's see. So I'm gonna try Kratos. I don't know how this is gonna work, but I'll give it a shot. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna try to boost, but it is scary. Yeah, that's what I was thinking might happen. Oh, that worked out well. Let's just try boosting again then, because... Oh, this is actually fantastic, though, because they can just keep on healing me after that brute over there attacks me. I don't even know the enemy's actual name. Um, what is his name? A dual horn. Alright, well, we already have our overdrive. Let's use it. Oh my gosh, that healed them. Oh no. Uh, I didn't think that was gonna happen. Okay, well, um, I guess it makes sense. Oh my gosh, <laughs> let me play. Oh my gosh, let me play. <laughs> All right, um, I might as well just attack then. That's probably the best option I have at this point. This is frustrating. Oh, and that's not even gonna kill him. He's just gonna explode on me. <laughs> and then I just gain all of that back. That's funny. I wonder if this is gonna do fire damage to him. Oh, it didn't. That did quite a lot of damage. This should kill him. And it did. Alright, that was a very unusual fight. We don't run into that encounter very frequently at all. We got a pretty good amount of experience, but no levels yet. Ooh, and we got some ability spheres, actually. So let's, um... Let's get Lulu in this direction, and then we can finally have her learn her level 2 magic spells. So we're learning Fire first, and then get a nice little HP upgrade here. Still can't do anything with Kamari, which is fine. Um, we'll move Yuna right here, and Prey, which is kind of a useless ability, but it's better to have it than to not, in my opinion. So, just a Waka. Nice accuracy. Oh, actually, we want to use an Ability Sphere right there to get Provoke. Not not the most useful spell in the world, but it's something. What are we going to get here? That looks like Agility again. Okay. And then this should give us Defense. Pretty useful, actually. That's, that's like one of the most useful uh, upgrades that we've gotten. Power Sphere. Very nice. And we still can't do anything about Kamari yet, so we'll just have to kind of sit and let him do his thing. Now, what is going on here? Another fight. <laughs> now... Let's just get everybody that we care about in here. The only reason I'm leaving these fights in here is because without them, these episodes are going to be really short. If we ever do any of the post-game content, then it'll be a little bit different. But as of right now, um, it's not super pertinent. Now, let's go ahead and show you this fire attack. That didn't overkill. 
and that guy wasn't even weak against it. So it's powerful. Ah, no overkill. That's a shame. Although if we could actually do some upgrades with Kamari, he might be able to get an overkill. I don't know. And we have another cutscene to check out over here, actually. Hey, we saw the game! You guys were great! It was close, Waka. Hey, stop loafing around. Uh... Uh... The Lady Summoner and her guardians... This mission requires our full attention. We've no time to waste. Understood? Yes, ma'am. Apologies, ma'am. Carry on. See, keep your head down, say sir a lot, and you'll do fine. Right, sir. <laughs> hey, Yuna. Even though Yevon rejected us, we still believe in you. That won't ever change. Thank you, Sir Luzu, Sir Gata. But, you know, it's not too late for you to go back to Besaid and... We should be going, sir. I don't know why Titus was laughing there. Probably my favorite part about the whole Avengers um, timeline, or the the whole MCU in general, is that How like. How much further do we have to go? <laughs> is that oh, yeah. just it, they really did manage to get everybody involved in some important way in the end game, I guess you could say. But just in in the end, the whole story had such. A, a like revolving utilization of every character the one character i really wish we would have gotten a little bit more screen time from was loki we'll defeat sin any way we can but you haven't speaking say enough I, I i only meant to are you all right <gasps> lady summoner yes I am Yuna. It is an honor, my lady. My name is Shalinda. I am a disciple of Yevon. What was all that about? The Crusaders operation? <sighs> you mean the one Gata and Luzu were talking about? Hmm. I heard they were to use forbidden machina. I had to stop them. Huh? Why? The use of Machina is strictly forbidden by the Yevon priesthood. That's bad, yeah? Let them use whatever they want. They still won't defeat Sin. But it's not about defeating Sin. The teachings of Yevon must be upheld. Yeah, right. But you don't understand. The Crusaders won't even listen to me. And it's all because I'm just a lowly acolyte. Don't say that. <sighs> well, I haven't been a summoner for very long myself, you see. Still, I can't put myself down every time I fail. People are depending on me. They're depending on both of us. Yes. Yes, you're right, my lady. Absolutely right. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lady Yuna. Now, I feel I have the courage to finish my training. Okay. Now, there should be a level 1 key sphere somewhere along this road, and if I don't pick it up in this chest here, I'll go back in my own time and see if I can find it, but there will be a level 1 key sphere at some point, at some time. So we might be waiting for a little while before we can get Kamari upgraded. Not like he's that important right now we at the first place. You. But this isn't our bed shop. Is that a problem? They, they don't believe in Yevon, and in Luca they, they kidnap Yuna. 
Where were her guardians? Oh. Sir Oren's just concerned about your health. I'm not tired one bit. Well, I am. As if I could sleep. Mr. Rin's shops are all over Spira. They are quite convenient when you're on the road. Yeah? Can we buy anything? Hmm, we can. We'll take a look at that next time, but... Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy X. Catch you guys later.